today we'll be using our female dress form for measurement taken it's already been built with the female dimensions in mind so we have the slopey shoulders the dot lines which goes across the busts the waistline and for the back we have the slopey back because our back is in straight that lines and the butt area so those are the key highlights which comes with this dress form and now we have to identify other highlights on the female dress form that is called the bust line and that point is called the apex on pattern paper we have the under bust the waistline which is identified and the hip line which is the fullest part of the bum after identifying our key highlights, we move over to taking our vertical measurements. Identifying the highest point of our shoulder blade there, we place our tape, passing over the bust. So our bust point here is 10, on the bust 13, the waistline 16, and the hip line is 23. After identifying this key point, we move over to taking our horizontal measurements. Taking the bust measurements, our tape has to lie loosely and not tight on it, else our dress might come out very tight, pressing the busts, looking like a squashed potato. I'm sure we don't want that. So we're taking our under bust measurements here. When taking our measurements, we should just have just one finger inside the tape in between the body. Our waist measurement here is 27 and our hip measurement when taking the hip measurement we should let the tape lie loosely on it also and when taking the tape measurements take taking the tape off we should roll it we should roll it and ensure that the tape is still in place now we're moving over to our back measurements where we have the back width which is taking about 15 cm from the nape of the neck which is the highest point of the back neck our back width measurement here is 15 and then we have the shoulder measurement this is one way of taking shoulder measurement from one end of the shoulder blade to the other another way of taking shoulder measurement is this from the highest point of the neck here shoulder neck here to the other end this any of the method can be used for whichever pattern me, me, drafting method you're using so that point there is called the nape of the neck streaming down to the base which is the deepest parts of the back where you have a sink hole the nape of the neck is where you have the round bone at the back of your neck and down to the deepest parts of your back it's called the scale on pattern or the back length and also your waist to hip measurements this is used for trousers or skirts so waist to hip measurement here is 8 and the next measurement is the round neck measurement this is taken just to ensure um, a fit of whatever piece you're making, either a collar neck or a bishop neck, just to ensure fitness. So this is all measurements will be taken on our dress form here. Our next tutorial will be on measurement taken on an actual human figure. And the measurements will derive will be used in drafting a pattern and um, properly fitted for you to see. Ciao. Thank you guys for watching our tutorial video on measurement taken. And if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to hit the subscription button below. Thank you. Bye.